had a 39-yard drive and a 31-yard drive, I think it was. And then their other drive they scored in the second half was, uh, was I think, right after the opening kickoff. We, we've, uh, you know, we, we just got to find ways of getting teams off the field. And we didn't play in the red zone near as well as what we've done all year. And uh, we've got to find a way of doing, doing a better job there. What were some specifically some things that might have broken down there in the first two quarters in the red zone? In well, in the first two quarters, I mean, without going back and watching the film, I know they, they got us on a corner route. We're going to have to find a way of helping our DBs in, in the red zone. And we typically, like a lot of teams, play a man concept, even though it is a zone uh, in the red zone because you have to tighten up. And uh, we practice it every week. Uh, but what happens is you get guys that run away from you, and if you're not a fleet of foot or you can't get your, the correct leverages, you know, and it, it's a, it's a prime example. If you always do what you've always done, then they'll, they'll find a way of getting you. So we got to help our guys there. And then, um, yeah, we got to be better at stopping the run. I mean, we um, we weren't able to to cheat and and uh, their zone blocking schemes really prevented us from being able to get to our sub package as much to help our secondary uh, because they were able to just get us out of gaps up front and uh, you know we tried our level best to try to plug the gaps and squeeze them and but it's just really hard when you're moving to, uh, to, to you know to stay in the gap on the zone blocking scheme we lost angles and leverages all day and it's not what we practice and not what we expect to happen in the game we got to do a better job your impressions of Persa, I mean, a kid who's coming off a major injury, first came back? Well, you know what? That's amazing what he was able to accomplish today. And, uh, you know, I think uh, the second half he played better than the first because he was probably getting more used to playing. But I'm sure he's been practicing. Their coaches, you know, Mick McCall is as good a man and good a coach as I've been around. And uh, they're, they're, the thing that seems to be about Northwestern is they just plug another guy in. And uh, when they put two in there in the fourth quarter, when we were gassed out, he was fresh, and it looked like a an old dog trying to chase a, a deer, you know. So uh, um, we, we have to, yeah, you know, I, my impressions of him is he he saved him a bunch because he was able to take third and eight and third and nines, and it's hard to get someone in third and eight and third and nine. He was able to, to do that and convert it. Uh, they got us on a screen. Uh, you know, probably bad call on me. I didn't do a good enough job of getting our guys to, to get the back. And, um, and they tried to get us again, you know, and they got they did get us on a couple of screens. So we've been pretty good at playing those screens. They did a good job of blocking us and kept our linebackers from being able to get to the screen. You sound a little subdued, but you, how happy are you to get out here to win? Well, uh, like every week, I feel like we got like, another gift. You know, and, and I've been calling it heavenly. We, you know, we we got trying to get our heart in the right spot, and I feel like we have some things. Obviously, you have to be if you're you're the tools of the grace, and you know you have to go out. And stay.